I ended my career at the top of my game and I think I'm, I'm grateful for that and I'm grateful that I had a really successful career and I will continue to keep pushing myself in whatever direction it will be that I'll end up and I'll help you know keep pushing the women's game forward and hopefully be a big part of that. I started my career really, really late. I didn't start playing football till I was 11. Clearly had a talent and it progressed quite quickly because I won my first FA Cup when I was 14. Um, and I think from that moment, I think winning that first trophy, having that feeling of winning and that adrenaline rush from that drove me, I think, to want more. I want to be the best I could be. I think I've always been a winner. I think everything I play at, I want to win at. It's something as small as a board game or a card game or, or anything like that. That winning feeling and that drive, I want to be the best at whatever it is. I retired in uh, 2018. Tough decision to make, I think. Physically and mentally, I think I could have gone on a bit longer. Everyone knows I have children and my personal situation changed. So I think I had to be less selfish and, and put my kids first. I missed all of it. I missed the buzz of playing. I missed the adrenaline rushes. I missed the highs and lows. I miss, you know, being a team environment. Being, it felt like a family. You know, you come in every day and you're doing something you absolutely love. Um, and it's hard to give that up. I think I have so many good memories of, of football, playing football. I think, you know, playing in FA Cup finals, definitely playing in FA Cup final at Wembley as one of the first, you know, women's team to play an FA Cup final there um, and being the captain. The game's so much different now. I think the women's game, you know, it's just, it's changed. It's, it's a lot quicker, I think, now. I think the team that Chelsea have got now, the squad of players, they've got world-class players, you know, on the pitch and on the bench, and it makes an absolute difference. And Chelsea's definitely the club you want to be at. You want to play under Emma Hayes. I've seen players come into Chelsea and actually leave better players because of Emma's coaching and Emma's management. Look where they are now, you know. They're one of the best teams probably in the world. I think it's been tough for me, obviously retiring. So I think I'm still in the process of figuring out what is next to me. I obviously still work for the club, which is great. I'm grateful to still be involved with Chelsea. The opportunities are there now for the youngsters. And if I can help drive and push that for them to get into the game, great. I think keep learning throughout your career. You're never too good. And dream, dream big. Don't let anyone tell you you can't dream. You know, have a dream and, and do your best to fulfill it.